welcome to this video which demonstrates how to do pin codes on the mighty or my voice office 400 smb controller this video assumes that you know how to do your permission sets and your digit barring on the controller so i will not be demonstrating how to do that if you don't know how to do it you can check my other video on how to do digit barring and permission sets So let's go to our controller and log in. We go to our users user list. I only have two users that are configured here, which is the receptionist here using extension 200 and this extension let's say just for demonstration sake it is the permission set is bad let's assume it was previously open which means you could call everything so what it means is that if the extension the user 200 terminal if it's allowed to make calls in this case it is an allowed to make international calls but not cell phone which means anyone who wants to make a call can just get onto this terminal and make a call without the need for a pin code so for us to enforce that the user puts in a pin code we have to bar this extension we buy it by changing its permission set so we go to the user for that terminal and we scroll down to permission set here and we change its permission to bad which means it is only allowed to make internal calls and emergency calls and probably two or three numbers in as well so this is achieved by going to the permission sets and digit barring, barring here for digit barring you can see bad digits is all digits blocked you can see this one is all digits blocked so this barring set we assign it to a permission set which is bad here if you go into the permission set it will show you that it is referencing to the bad digit dialing as you can see here for switch position one two and three okay enough of that so the first thing that we will do now for for a pit code there's a scenario where there is a a terminal which belongs to a certain individual and there are also terminals that may belong to several individuals which which means a user might not have a terminal but would like to go to someone's terminal to make a call from there so what we are going to do are what we call working working class pin codes such that they can take them to any terminal and make a call from there so they are not exactly tied to a user of a certain terminal so what we we, we can just see that our terminals the extension numbers they are in the 200 range we can use a a certain range for instance i can choose to you say the 400 range is what i am going to assign to my pin code users so we create a virtual user each pin code user is a virtual user so we, we click on new here and then we are going to create a call number for for my virtual user that i'm going to create a pin code for right now is going to be 401 and then because it's just one pin code that i'm going to create i'm not going to create a user block then on the license type here license i'm going to make it a non-licensed user and then i'm going to apply so as soon as i apply it's going to ask me for a name here the name I am going to for instance I am going to allocate this pin code to a user called Eve so I'm going to write Eve's name here but I'm going to call it 
star 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 if this is just for housekeeping to to differentiate it from if being the name given to a physical terminal if might have a terminal that is called if and to differentiate that from a pin code a virtual user that is called if i just put two stars here then i'll the next thing i'll go to where it says pin here and then pin this pin number that i'm going to put here it's going to be the pin code that if is going to use to make a call so please take note that when it comes to pin here put the pin that if is going to use to make a call for instance i'm going to put a pin here which is double two double one double three so i'm going to put two two one one three three then i'm going to confirm that pin is two two one one three three then i'm going to to select here use pin instead of password so i am going to select here use pin instead of password then i will scroll down I will look for permission set here so if I want if to call maybe local national or international calls I change the permission set for the pin code to tell it where it must go and call so for instance I will say this user must call international calls and cell phones I'll give it this permission set 8 Then I'll scroll down again. I'll go to other settings. Let me see what else we might want to change here. Okay, that's all for now. Then we are going to apply. So to recap, we create a new user, a virtual user, and the call number is 401. We give it a, a name for the virtual user. We call it if, and then we put two stars in front of it to make it star star if. We go to the pin code. We put uh, the pin code that is going, the user is going to use to make a outgoing calls. In this example, we have put 221133, and we confirmed it. Take note that it will show a blank here as if we didn't do anything but rest assured the pin code has been saved it is in here although we don't see it then after we do that just as a side note our permission sets should should have this for instance the international and cell if you go to it you should make sure that should make sure that this change pin is unticked because the moment we we tick it it may allow the user to to change that pin and we don't want to change that pin because we always want them to keep the same pin because it's going to correspond to our billing system so we want an administrator or a technician to be the one who will change a pin for a user so that they reciprocate the change in the billing system now that we have created our user here star star if with the user extension call number 401 and our pin code assigned inside we now go to create an abbreviated dial which is in other terms a speed dial so i'm not going to explain the concept behind i'm just going to explain the steps so that if you grasp the steps and you follow them whenever you do pin codes you when you won't go wrong because i don't want this video to be too long so we go to phone book public 
and we are going to add a new abbreviated dial let me just start by deleting this one because it's, it is taken the code that I want to use So when we come to we come to phone book public, then we go to new, and then it's going to ask us for a call number. So this call number is also again going to be the pin that we put under user if. So this user this is going to be a speed dial for you for if for if spin code. I'm going to put two two one one three three then for stored number i am going to put this hash 36 followed by the virtual extension number for eve which is 401 and followed by the pin that we put under the user for eve which is 221133 so i am going to put this hash 36 this is a feature code to say what's going to follow is a an extension number a virtual extension number for if so which is going to be 401 so we put our 401 here and then we follow it up with the pin code that we created for this user which is 221133 which is this one so it is pound 36 followed by the virtual extension number which is 401 followed by the pin that we created for the virtual user which is 221133 and we have also put that 221133 as a call number here and then for the name we put again star star if as we did uh, in the extension when we were creating the virtual user then we we apply So this is the result. We've got an abbreviated dialing number, which is 221133. When the user inputs this number on the on any terminal, they'll go to any terminal, which means any physical extension. They dial 221133. The system is going to dial pound 36401 followed by 221133. This is the procedure that the system wants for you to make an outgoing call with a pin code and then the user has to follow this up with a zero and the telephone number that they want to dial and they will be able to make a call from a bad terminal so now if you can come to this reception terminal 200 which is bad and they can make a call by dialing 221133 followed by a zero and the telephone number and then the call should be successful I've just tried to put those steps in, on, in this document first we make sure that we've got digits our digits barring it is set up correctly and then when we assign our digits barring we assign them to a permission set what we are interested in is making a permission set which which bars a terminal from making an outgoing call which is in turn going to enforce that terminal to require a pin code for dialing out then once we do that we we bar the extension that is that we we want to enforce a pin code on then we create a virtual user virtual extension and user with a license none in our example we created a virtual user which is 401 we gave it the name if and we gave it the license none and we gave it a pin of 221133 and we ticked on to not we clicked on use pin instead of password and then we created an abbreviated dial we went to charge his phone book public abbreviated dialing number was 221133 we stored a code number which is h36 
followed by a virtual extension number 401 followed by the pin code which is 221133 and we gave it a name of if and to dial out if goes to a bad extension puts in the pin code which is 221133 followed by a zero to request for an outgoing line and the telephone number that if wants to dial so to recap once more we create a new user we give it a virtual extension like 402 we license it for none we apply we give it a name let's say this is star star adam the husband for if then the pin code we can say it's it's one one zero zero two two as an example i'm going to type again one one zero zero two two here and then we say use pin instead of password then we change the permission set probably we we want adam to call we then Botswana only which means national calls only and we allow them to call cell phones we are going to select this and we are going to apply then we are going to go to phone book public and we are going to create new here we are going to put our stored number is one one our call number one one zero zero two two and our stored number is going to be pound three six and the virtual extension for Adam which is four zero two followed by one one zero zero two two and the name we call it star star Adam then we apply I want you to notice something the system might reject this one one zero two two we apply e, e, then there is the pin code but you can run in a, into a scenario where it's going to say the the number is used also which means it is reserved and then in such a scenario you have to change your pin code to the pin code that the controller is going to accept or we can go and deal with the conflict but the challenge with dealing with the conflict is that you you need to delete the conflict where it might be required by the system to be used so my best advice to you is that when you meet such a conflict you actually change the pin code for your user you go and redo your pin code according to what the system will be requiring let me for instance try and create this new user let's say zero 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 let's say it's for virtual extension 403 for instance and i'll put those six zeros again and i'll say this for a user kind the new call number is in conflict with zero in the numbering plane please choose another number so if you come across this error i suggest that you change your pin code instead of trying to look for the conflict so that you you make your pin code to be accepted the best way out is to just go and change your pin code to what the system would allow so that brings us to the end of our video if you need you can play this video slowly you can pause you can take notes until you are comfortable doing pin codes on your own thank you and enjoy your day